Hi all, in this video, let's learn about JavaScript interview question that is segregating the even and odd numbers in an array. So let's see that. For example, if you have an array like this, okay, we need to segregate. It means divide the even numbers one side and odd numbers the other side. So here in this array, we need to have all the even numbers at the left side and all the odd numbers at the right side. I will be explaining you two approaches to solve this problem. The first approach is a normal approach. So where you will be taking a uh, new array, okay? You'll be taking a new fresh array and you will traverse, you will iterate each and every element in this array. If it is even, you'll keep that in the front, front uh, of the array. In the empty array, you'll be inserting the even numbers first. And again, you will iterate through this array and you'll pick the odd numbers and you'll pick insert them in the after the even numbers. So this is the first approach. So let's discuss the code for this first approach. So this is a simple function and we are uh, passing the same array what we have there and uh, the array and the length of the array we are passing. So let's discuss this approach first. So in this approach, we need to have the array first. We need to have an empty array. So I'm taking an empty array and also an index for that new empty array, okay? And now here, what I need to do, I need to iterate over this array for the first time. So that's the reason I'm iterating here. So this is a length. Now we are going to iterate that. And now what we are going to do is we are verifying whether the given, whether the element is even or not. So if it is even, so yes, we are going to check that like this. Okay. Sorry, I think we need to use We need to divide that with the two. So now you can understand if the remainder is zero, then you that number is considered as an even number. So if that is the even number, so then what we are going to do, we are we need to do array of, so what we are going to do is we are going to use the new array, okay? And we are going to use the index. Okay, index means the first index, zero element, zeroth index. And we are going to insert this new uh, even number okay in the new array that's what we are going to do so this is what we are going to do once you have inserted we need to increment the index because next time you need to uh, keep the number in the next block right not in the same one so that's the reason we need to increment this index so instead of using this new line so you can do the same line here as well so both are the same so you are adding the number to that index of zero and you are incrementing this index in the same line also you can write this. So in this way, first in the first for loop, you will be iterating over this array and you will be picking all the even numbers and you will, you are going to keep them in this array. Okay, now the same thing. Uh, let me copy paste the thing. So as we have iterated once, all the even numbers will be available now here. So now we need to do this for the odd numbers. So the same logic, you need to iterate over this array once again, and you need to get the odd numbers and you need to insert them after the all the even numbers, you'll be inserting all the odd numbers. That, that is known as a segregation. So that's what we'll be doing here. So now I'm finding them as a odd numbers by checking the not equal to zero, then we'll be getting the odd numbers, clear? So once you are done with this, so let me print this. So you'll be getting, let me print the A array. So in this A array, you'll be having all these things. So let's see the output ones. So see here, you have two, four, six, ten, one, three, seven, nine. So first four would be the even, and next would be the odd. This is the segregation of the even numbers and the odd numbers. And we have discussed this as in the first approach. So let's discuss the same problem by uh, with the second approach, which is bit optimal and efficient. Because in this approach, if you observe, we have taken a new array and we are iterating the array two times. One iteration is for the odd numbers, one iteration is for the even numbers. So let's try to make this bit optimal, okay? So I will uh, remove this part of the logic. So now let's make this an optimal. So before making this optimal, so let's discuss our thought process, how to do this problem, okay? So now you have the array like this. So what you are not going to create a new array. So in the same array, what you will be doing is you will be verifying, you will be iterating once, okay? And if it is the even number, so you'll be using one more pointer. We'll be using a pointer called i. So it will be at the minus one location. 
so it means it will not pointing to our array so far it is minus one and we'll use the another pointer called j is equal to zero so this is a normal pointer in an array so now it will point into the first element okay now what we do is we'll verify whether the given number is an even or not it is not an even so this i goes to the next one so this is even or not no it is not an even so now j goes to this element yes this is a even number then what we are going to do is if we find any of the even number in the array we will be swapping the elements so now here it as it is a even number what we do is the i will increment the i first you found the first even number so we'll increment the i so i minus 1 becomes 0 so i is pointing to this location now and j is pointing to this location and j found uh, a even number so now what we are going to do is we are going to swap the numbers so two will be coming here and one will be going here so now in the next iteration how it will be looking two three and one four this is how it looks okay now what happens j will be incrementing to the next pointer and also we are going to increment this i because in the i it is pointing to the first element which is even and now it needs to put another element here in the second position right so that's the reason we need to increment the i now after inserting that we'll increment this i so now we have four again yes four four is an even number so now what we'll do now i is pointing to this location okay what we do is we will swap and four comes to here and three goes to this place in the same array we're not going to take any new array and we'll iterate only once and now what we do if it is even number we'll put that into the odd numbers like this we'll iterate throughout the array and we'll take this even number and we'll put that even number in the the i will be pointing to the one the other number so that that would be pointing to the odd number at any point if this iteration would be coming step by step and it would be pointing to the odd number if it is even number it would be incremented by one so that is what the thought process okay so it we are going to iterate through each and every element if it is a even number we'll swap that with the first odd number so likewise we'll be doing and we'll push all the even numbers frontwards and all the even numbers odd numbers would be going to the last of the end of the array so this is the thought process and this is an efficient solution okay now let's discuss the problem here we'll discuss uh, the code for this so first thing is like we need to have an extra pointer so we in this case we'll call that as an i and i'm pointing this as minus one and j is the main pointer we'll point it as a zero and let me take a new temp variable so where we need to swap the variables right so that's the reason i'm taking a new temp variable now what i'm going to do is i need to iterate through the array so for that i'm just using the while loop so the i value j value so the j is zero and the j value should not be equal to the length so till the end of the array we are going to iterate that is the meaning here so we'll be incrementing this i and now what we are going to check so the first thing we are going to check is whether the while it is iterating through this array we will check whether the given number is an even or not so we are doing a strict should check here so that's the reason i'm keeping triple equal to now any of the number so we are iterating through this array and we are finding whether the number is even or not if it is even what we are going to do so now in our case what we did if it is an not an even what we did we just moved away so that we have just incremented the j and first number is one so this is not an even so we'll not go inside this and we'll move back to the another odd number now here it is also three is also not an even number so again we'll increment this j and j is now here at the second two okay now here if you check two is an even or not yes it is even so now what we are going to do as two is an even number first thing is we need to increment this i so for that reason what we are doing is i plus plus why we are incrementing this i should point to our array now it should point it will be pointing to the first element here now so after pointing here what we need to do we need to swap this two to this element and one should come to this element that we are doing with the help of the third variable called temp how we are going to do is in the temp variable first we will swap the value of i so it means this one value i will keep in this temp okay later i will take the value of this two so two is available in array of j and now this two value is present here 
it means we have swapped the array and now in the place of two okay it means the one should come to here and uh, two should go to here in this place what we did is two we have swapped two here and we need to take the one into this location so what we'll do is an array of j uh, j is pointing to here right so now what we do it is pointing to here and now we need to keep the temp variable here because in the temp variable one is available so that's the reason two three one in the first iteration it becomes two three one so this is what we are going to do the swapping the main logic here so once it is done what you are going to do you are going to increment the j increments to here it comes to the fourth element now again we'll iterate this uh, while loop till the end of the array so in the fourth iteration what happens again we'll check whether the four is a even or not yes it is a even so now what we are going to do we'll again increment the i now i is here it will increment to the second location now i here will be pointing to this location now what we do we'll swap with the four with the three now four comes to the second position three comes to this position like this we are pushing all the even numbers to the front of the array and swapping all the odd numbers to the end of the array so this is an optimal solution so where we are not going to use an extra field and also we are not iterating the array twice okay let me print this array now so let's check the output points one second so i think uh, we have a while loop here so once the while is closed yes we have this loop mp is assigned here J is updated here. Fine. Give me a second. Here you can see, yes, it was loaded. Yeah, we will verify, yes, all the even numbers are there beginning and odd numbers are at the end. So this is how we can segregate the even numbers and the odd numbers. So hope you understand the video here. We are going to use an extra pointer where it would be pointing to odd numbers and it will, we are using this pointer to swap the even numbers with the odd numbers. Hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.